Do you know that as a woman, there are some tests that you must ensure and endeavor to do annually? Yes, you must ensure you take the routine and do these 10 basic tests every year as a woman to live a very, very healthy life. I'll be taking you through the 10 tests and the procedures for the 10 tests so that you can live a good and healthy life. Once again, it's a new year and you're welcome to Femsy Good Life. Please do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time you, we post a video and if you're joining us for your for the first time please do well to leave it in the comment section so that we can welcome you appropriately to this community so guys a healthy health check will save your life and save the life of someone close to you as a woman you must ensure that you do not pour from an empty cup ensure that you are in top tip shape and ensure that you live well and healthy enough so as to take care of those around you and also enjoy your fruits while you are old as well. So guys, the first test on my list is the AIC test. The AIC test is the hemoglobin test and we also have the lipid cholesterol test. The cholesterol test is a panel test it's used for the panel of blood to find abnormalities in lipids and to also ensure that you do not have the risk of cardiovascular disease and pancreatic disease it also shows if you have any underlying heart issues and issues that can lead to heart disease this should be done annually we also have the test which I mentioned, which is the blood pressure test. And it says that more than 50% of black women suffer from high blood pressure. High blood pressure test measures the blood pressure in your arteries and ensures that your heart pumps accurately. Blood pressure test is very essential as it could help you curb the potential risk of hypertension. It's good to take this risk annually, especially for black women who have 5% with 50% um, risk of high blood pressure. We also have the PAP test or the HPV test. This is very essential because the PAP test can detect abnormality in the cells of your cervix and can help you to detect if you have symptoms of cancer or cervical cancer. The HPV test also looks for the presence of the HPV virus in your cervix and this is very essential. Early detection can save your life. It is advisable that women should go for regular pap tests from the ages of 21 to 65. So what you expect during your pap test this is what it looks like. A swab will be inserted into your vagina and it will collect cells from the cervix. It's a bit um, uncomfortable, but it's worth the, it's worth the um, stress. You could go through this just once in a year to detect the human papilloma virus, which causes cervical cancer. So the HPV test is very essential it could um, help detect changes in cervical muco and it's very good um, the cells are sent to lab for testing to check abnormalities using a brush or a spatula um, it identifies abnormal cells which could lead to cancer if left untreated you should start at the age of 21. It should be done every three to five years. Not necessarily every year, but I think three to five years is okay. We also have the breast exams and mammogram. We said that um, a monthly breast test can be done um, using your hands. You can lay it down on your bed and then, you know, I did a video um on how to examine your breast and check for lumps you may want to scroll that up and then you can also do a mammogram test this can be done on women from 45 to 54 and you may switch yearly you could do a mammogram a mammogram will reveal any abnormality in the 
um, breast tissue or the breast cells which may make you susceptible to cancer. We also have the pelvic examination. The pelvic examination detects early forms of cancer, especially sexually transmitted diseases, STDs, and other causes of inflammation. It's um, very essential as um, it could help um, figure out why you have cramps and abdominal pains. Um, issues such as fibroid and heavy bleeding can also be detected. We also have the hormone panel test. The hormones impact your growth and development. It controls your mood. It helps to determine why you're stressed out, why you're freaking out, why you're urgy, why you're irritable. Some women actually get very emotional for no reason. We just try, we just um, lose it, you know, seem to act up. Most times we tend to act on impulses. This is due to um, hormonal imbalance. I would advise you do your hormonal testing to detect if you have any um, abnormal hormonal issues. We also have the vitamin D deficiency test. The vitamin D deficiency test protects against chronic conditions such as cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and certain cancers. Also, we have we know that fibers are non-cancerous tumors that develop in the uterus walls of the uterus. A vitamin D deficiency has been linked to the growth of fibers. So, it's essential that as a woman, you take a lot of vitamin D in your diet. Now, we also have the magnesium test. The magnesium test has a clear positive impact on your hormonal health, offering support for things like sleep, mood, um, premenstrual syndrome, irritability, and all of that. So magnesium is essential for many because it includes, um, helps to boost your immune system, support your immune system, uh, muscle buildup, and nerve functions. Magnesium can help support overall health and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. And apart from that, we also have um, some other tests that a woman should do. For instance, we have dental tests. It's essential that as a woman, you run your dental test. And we also have the skin examination. It's good to carefully inspect your skin, looking for new moles and existing moles, which can be signs of cancer. We also um, advise that you pay attention to your BMI, which is your body mass index. Whether or not you're obese is a condition that um, raises your risk of serious health problems like diabetes and health diseases. So guys, this is 2024 and I'm wishing you a very, very healthy and blissful 2024. Once again, this is Family's a Good Life. Ensure you get your blood pressure checked, your cholesterol checked, your pap smear, your mammogram, your blood glucose, your blood sugar... And all your tests done. Cheers to a healthy 2024. Bye.